Okay, everyone, welcome to another episode. In this short video, I'm just gonna be doing a little tip on how to clean off your um, depth finder screen. Okay, so um, this is my main unit I use, and um, as you can see, we just we just went fishing and um, yesterday, and um, the screen is very dirty. Um, it's got a lot of um, water spots on it, smudges, and um, you know this isn't even that bad. When it gets wavy out there or whatever, when you get a lot of water on the screen, say it's raining, um, and especially dirty water, it can get this um, these minerals uh, on the water very um, dirty on your screen. It'll be hard to see fish when it's you know sunny out. You get a bad glare, and um, and that it can actually hurt your screen. So, and um, a lot of people just say, oh, you just take a towel, some Windex or whatever you you want to clean it with and um, just wipe it off, but you can actually scratch your screen. I did it with my old cheaper unit. You can actually scratch the screen um, because those minerals are pretty hard on the these really, you know, delicate screens. And um, these units can get pretty expensive. So today I'm just gonna show you an easy way. Um, you don't need anything fancy. And um, to get these off safely and to get your screen looking like it just came out of the box. So stay tuned. So first thing you're gonna need is a microfiber towel. I wouldn't really do this with anything but a microfiber because um, just again you don't want to scratch your screen and um, this is just a, you can buy like a 10 pack of these at Walmart for or anywhere um, for like seven bucks so I just I use these to wipe down my boat and I use them to wipe down my um, anything that I don't want to scratch so um, let's go over it. So all you need my favorite is this Pledge um, Lemon Cleaner um, the reason I like the lemon is because it has citrus in it and um, it helps break down the minerals. Um, it, it actually works very well on my boat too. Um, that's why I used to wipe down you know, the gunnels of my boat and everything. And um, so, let's get into it. Real simple, that's all you need. Microfiber, and um, I prefer this. I know the, the vinegar Windex helps break it down too, but I prefer this. So, um, let's get into it. So, all you really want to do is just coat the whole screen, not too much, just a little bit, so that there's basically the um, the spray on the whole screen. Now, what I like to do is let that sit. What this is doing is it's eating away, breaking away those minerals. So um, I just let it sit on there for about a minute. So what I do um, to compress it, I'll put my towel right over it and just gradually push down that um, towel right against the screen to just make sure it's pretty flat on that screen leaves behind and you might have to do this once or twice if you miss a spot but this always takes care of it if you get it down so I'd let that sit there about you know 30 seconds to a minute and I'll get back to you after that alright so we let that sit there for about a, a minute you can't really overdo this but I mean you know after a minute it's pretty much done so then take it off what you're going to see is just, you know, that. Now I'm going to wipe this off and show you how it looks. Okay, so as you can see, this unit is spotless. Um, it's a great way to clean the unit off. Um, really, no risk of hurting anything. And um, it's just really easy. You don't really even have to scrub. Just let it sit on there for, like I said, about 30 seconds to a minute, depending how bad it is. And um, normally on the first try, if you cover the screen real good, it takes it all off. And this was the first try. try. And then I'm just basically just wipe off the exit. You don't ha even have to scrub it. Just you're letting the you letting the detergent do what it's meant to do. And um, you know, just get something with either. I like the pledge, um, but you, you know, the, anything with that um, citrus or vinegar in it that would help break down the minerals will work um, better than anything else. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope this tip helped you. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you next time on Big Bassmaster One.